Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own transcription endpoint for Hebrew speech to text using our world best uh, Ivrit AI transcription model. Okay, it's a very simple process. We're going to be setting up an endpoint using RunPod with just a few clicks and then transcribing audio through Python. This entire solution is what is call, often called a serverless solution. So you're only paying for what you actually use. The transcription cost for most audio is going to be in the range of three to four cents per hour of transcribed uh, speech, which is, I believe, the, by far the cheapest commercial solution, and it comes at extremely high quality. So let's go. First, we'll be setting up uh, an endpoint, an API endpoint using RunPod. Okay? The, the registration link to RunPod is going to be placed in the description of this video. Uh, if you can use our link, that's great. We get a couple of dollars from it. It helps us pay for our infrastructure costs. So you go to RunPod, press get started. <coughs> I'm a, I, my user is already set up. You'll go through a quick registration process. If you have a Gmail account, just use that and you're immediately in. Now that you're in, here on the upper left, you can see your sorry. You can see your your current the, the current amount of money you have. Uh, basically, your balance. Uh, going into billing if you have nothing, which will typically be the case. Go here. Just pay ten dollars. That's the minimum you can put in. Use a credit card. Of if you're lucky, use a, some sort some form of crypto. <laughs> um, and that's part one. When you're done with that, you're going to see the balance here point to $10. Okay. That's part one. Now you have money in. Next up, <coughs> let's set up the endpoint. Use this second link. Okay. It links to a template for our API endpoint. Uh, it's also in the it's also going to be placed in the description of this video. Go in, press deploy here, create endpoint, and we have the endpoint ready. Take the endpoint ID here and store it. You're going to need it later. If you, by the way, if you hop over to workers here, you can see the machines starting to go up. So here you have one endpoint, and it will get it will it will bring up a few extra machines just in case you oh, here's another one going up, just in case you send several jobs in parallel. Okay. Um, now let's go to settings. We have one thing still missing. We need an API key. So go to settings, scroll down, click API keys, create API key. Let's give it some name. Let's say read AI dev. Choose restricted, read right here, create, and you're done. You have the API key here, copy it. We're going to be using this one as well. If you're experienced enough with working with API keys, you know that this API key is not something you can recover later. If you lose it, misplace it in any way, just create a new API key and delete the old one. <coughs> so with these steps, we have an endpoint ID, have an API key. We are something like 60% through this process. Almost done. Now let's go over to our Linux shell. Okay. First, install the Ivrit AI uh, Python module. Okay. Install, Ivrit. I'm not using a virtual environment, so I just use the break, but here it is. It's up and running. Okay, you have version 004. Hopefully, we'll have newer and better versions soon. Uh, so we have Ivrit. It's ready. Now, let's go up. Launching Python, importing Ivrit. Next up, we need to load a transcription model. We're going to, doing, to do it as follows. The engine is going to be run pod. You can see the you can you can see the different options in the documentation, but here we're going with run pod. The model is going to be Ivrit AI's uh, latest transcription model. We're going with the Turbo version. It's very accurate and very cheap. Technically, you can use the non-Turbo version. It's much you know it's uh, much more expensive. I think something like 5x, and there's a minor accuracy benefit. API key, we mentioned that earlier. So here it is. I stored it and now I can use it easily. And we have the endpoint ID. 
which is our last argument. That's it. We have a model. Now let's see how we use that. All we have to do is result equals model transcribe. Now you can either transcribe local files or URLs. Currently, we're limited to local files of a few megs due to runbot limitations. We're working on fixing that. So you'll get a new version of the Ivrit Python model that just works. But for now, anything that's more than five to eight megs of data, use a URL to and provide it to runbot. So here we're going to say transcribe. We're using a local path. I have a file I like to use for most of these. And here it's running. Let's go, while it's running, let's look at RunPod itself. Go over to serverless, choose our endpoint. You can see that there's one job waiting in queue. And if we hop over to workers, we can see it's actually running. <coughs> um, and going back, the transcription is already done. If we look at the result object as a dictionary, it has just the text in it. So that's, you know, that's a no-brainer. Okay. Uh, it has a bunch of segments in it. Okay, this is basically what, what's typically returned from Faster Whisper, for example. Okay, you can go through them, but each such segment includes the text, some timing, you know, the start and end of that segment, and extra data is whatever the engine we used brought in. Here, uh, we have the average log prob for this segment, uh, uh, um, word level timestamp, and so on. Okay. And this is pretty much it. So if you just want the text, Okay, you have here results text, and you're done. If you want to iterate through the segments, you can also do that. Uh, the job is finished. You're no longer getting price rate here. It says one minute, but actually, if I refresh that, that's a bug on the run pod, uh, on the run pod user interface. All machines are down. <clears throat> if you do nothing, you already have five parallel machines ready to work for you here. So you can transcribe a lot of content relatively quickly. Uh, and if you want more, you can always uh, ping the ping the run pod folks and ask for a quota increase. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if there's any, if there are any ideas you have for us for improving the Python module, improving the model, um, or anything else, feel free to let us know. Um, any other feedback is of course welcome as well. And that's it. Thank you for watching.